936, and Tuesday is Patriots Day. That's September 11th. On that day, in 2001, our world changed forever. Yeah, and unlike Pearl Harbor, this was an attack on civilians to a scale that we had never seen before. Fox 13's Walter Allen is on Bayshore Boulevard with a look. Good morning, Walter. Hey, Russell and Laura, good morning to you. Yeah, it'd be 17 years uh, since those events unfolded back in 2001. In 2011, 10 years later, the 10-year anniversary, that is when they commemorated this memorial. Uh, and it's not just a place to reflect. Uh, it actually does something. It tells the events of that morning. And that's what makes it this week's Extraordinary Ordinary. Just a moment. We've got an explosion inside. The building's exploding right now. you got people running up the street. I was in downtown Tampa getting a bagel at New York, New York Bagel Shop, which had pictures of the World Trade Center in it. It's one of those mornings, uh, one of those moments that you never forget. Yeah, it made you wonder if you needed to go get your kids out of school or what was going to happen next. Like all major events of recent history, you remember it like it was yesterday. For my generation, um, I think it's the space shuttle and 9-11. Uh, those are, you know, moments in time that you'll never forget. You always remember where you were and you always remember how it made you feel. Even an event that happened in New York City hundreds of miles away, it might as well happen in our backyard. Did you know there are pieces from that day right here in Tampa? You might have been distracted by the scenic drive, but it's right there in the median at Bayshore and Bay to Bay. What we have here on Bayshore is a 1 to 100 scale of the World Trade Center. The, the height of the buildings, their orientation on site, uh, even the concrete base that it sits on is a scale model of the World Trade Center from New York. The dark column is, a, is one of the columns from the North Tower of the World Trade Center. Uh, so we put it uh, standing up straight like the column uh, in the North Tower symbolically. The memorial took just a few months to build, and that's all thanks to the groups that had a hand in creating and designing it, including John Thompson, the architect. What makes this, I hate to call it an ordinary memorial, but it does extraordinary things. The column itself from the World Trade Center acts as a sundial. There's a portion of concrete that in the morning of September 11th when the shadow of the column hits that particular piece of concrete, that's the impact of the plane on the North Tower. And then as the day, uh, as the morning carries on, um, when, the, when the column shadow falls off of the concrete, that's when the building fell. Bayshore Patriots ha would use it as a place to wave the flags. They still do every Friday. Um, people honk as they go by with the Patriots. The reactions that we've seen are, are very subtle too, with the woman who knelt down one morning to pray in front of it before she went on her run, um, to just when you talk to people about how the sundial works and they're here to see it. Uh, you know, it's, it's a quiet moment. It's a, that's a portion of time that's uh, for reflection. When John said he was approached with the idea, he jumped at the chance and he hopes everyone takes the time to pay it a visit as well. Well, it's one of the reasons why you become an architect, because you want to be able to create things that have meaning for people, that reach you know, a community, that reach a larger audience, and that the meaning and the importance of the event um, echoes in their mind and you've been able to touch a portion of their of their memory. Just encourage folks you know on the morning of September 11th uh, come out and experience what it's like when the when the shadow of the sundial of the column uh, moves over that piece of concrete it'll take you back to that moment that you mentioned where you know everybody remembers where they were at when it happened. And back out here, uh, photographer Roy Kuntz is able to zoom in on that shadow, and you can see uh, it is past the beginning portion of that concrete. So obviously, uh, at this time on September 11th, the plane would have already hit the North Tower, and then when the shadow falls off that concrete is when the tower uh, would eventually fall. This memorial was completely volunteer-driven. A big thank you to Wilder Architecture, City of Tampa, and all of those who pitched in to help make this uh, reality. Now, believe it or not, the City of Tampa is actually one of just a little over 1,100 cities across the country to have this type of memorial. Cities could ask for an artifact from the World Trade Center, but the bargain was if you were to take possession of an artifact, you would have to build a memorial, and so uh, that is what happened here, uh, right here off of Bayshore. So I truly invite everybody on Tuesday and really every day of the year uh, to come out here, corner of uh, Bayshore and Bay to Bay. If you have an idea, something or something you think is an extraordinary ordinary, shoot me a suggestion on my Facebook page, Fox 13's Walter Allen. Russell, Laura. All right. What a story, Walter. Thank you.